Partyhelp.com. How's everybody doing? Good. All right, I got a lot to get to, and I want to try and do it as quick as possible. The chart will be underneath me for the totals. I'll try and run through everything as I can. This is going to be a 10-minute one. There's a lot I want to get to. Um, the teaser rules, and we've been through this earlier with Pain Insider. Bobby Clark had a teaser that pushed. It counts as no action. I base most of the rules on Sportsbook and Bodog because that's where most of the people bet. And that's what happens in this case with a teaser. You bet a teaser. If it's a four-teamer and one pushes, it goes down to a three. If it's a three, one pushes, it goes down to a two. If it's a two and it pushes, it's no action. So it counts as a push. And that's just the way that rule works. Not everybody lives in Vegas. Although the people that do live in Vegas, there are some different rules. We went through the whole thing with the Phillies game um, earlier, but that's just kind of the quote-unquote official way of handling all that. Um, everybody, almost everybody was on the Falcons today, and they screwed a lot of people. A lot of people were on the Colts, but I did have some guys that were on San Diego, so they did pretty well too. And... Um, Part of the 2009 thing, I'm going to get back to basics. This site came out to, one, expose the Scandy Cappers and what they do. And it was exposed with the booting thing of releasing both sides of the game. Parody videos were made. Yeah, it was just more of fun than anything else. But it's basically to see who's hot or not. And I got five or six users that have bought, and I know they've bought from everybody on my site, or almost everybody on my site, because they ride and see who's doing well and who's not and bet accordingly. I know it for a fact. Don't tell me you didn't. Because they email me. And I talk to them. But I did get an interesting uh, email. And they said that I could read or address parts of it. And uh, it was about when I had made a big point about game numbers and um, the recap. And it is from betting as a business, and there are certain points of it that I'll point out quickly to it because I do want to address it. And uh, some of it may have been my fault with the way I word things. Um, it appears that I may come across this condescending, and I don't mean to do so. Um, I had mentioned a point about getting 120 emails a day and going through it so it would be easier to get a recap. Um, they were not happy with that. Basically, if I wanted to take on this, that I have to deal with that. Um, they definitely are not happy with the rating system, which has been an issue from day one. The dimes, the dollars, the units. I can't force handicappers to change their systems. I think, for the most part, from what the users have told me, it's a relatively easy system to figure out. And 100 dimes equals 100 units equals 1,000 bucks. In their case, they do one. 125, 15, 175, 20, and I multiply it by 50 to try and make them fit in for the winner of the week. Um, again, the I don't give a crap, the condescending attitude that is noted, and I'm going to have to work on that. They got into the curtain behind me. They called it a sheet and compared me to an Al DeMarco video. I live in a one-bedroom apartment. I can't build a studio behind me. I've done my research with some of the big, big YouTubers. And um, the reason it's behind me is because if you don't and there's pictures or the cat jumps up or whatever, people tend to stray from what you're saying and look and try and see what's going on behind you. Believe it or not, it really it really does happen. And Al DeMarco's got great videos. But the whole point of this site is not to advertise... And get people clients. If you pick winners, you will get them. It is to say you are monitored and documented by somebody on at least a six-day-a-week basis. Because you hear the commercials all the time for the Monday Night Bailout games. And Vic Profit and Al DeMarco and Budin and all these other guys. And they're independently documented. And their record... Documented by who? And, and that's the point. But I, I do appreciate the email. I really do. And um, I get these all the time. But I love when you get them and it starts out, don't take this the wrong way or nothing personal. And then they rip you for the entire length of the email. Um, but it's this is a growing process. And this site is growing. The site started in December. 
of last year. It became official in March, really took off in baseball. Going through the numbers, we've actually get more hits in baseball and the NBA playoffs than we did during football because football's easy and everybody thinks they can do it. They don't necessarily need to go to a capper. So I just wanted to address that and uh, maybe I can work on the set a little more. Maybe that's one of the reasons I can't get higher than 18 in Google. Um, it's 18 out of a million, so I'm pretty happy with that being officially open since March of 2008. And uh, I just was trying to make it easier for everybody. It seems the user's opinions is they want the videos early. That's why we're going to try and implement this night game thing. Speaking of which, let's get to the report. Ty Davis, sports investor, had the Lakers. They covered last night. That's another win and another 100 dimes to their bankroll. Sports investing as a business had the Jazz. That's a loss and another 110 dime loss to their bankroll. Those totals are reflected in today. And it was a tough day for some, good day for others, based on uh, what, what had happened there. And betting as a business goes 2-0 and plus 171.5 units on the day. 2-0 and day, nice job. Bobby Clark Sports, 1-2-1. One, one. He's going to give back 600 bucks, put some even for the week. Basher, 2-0 and day, plus 30 dimes. Price Pete Sports, 4-2, and two, minus 2.5 dimes. One point Annie went 0-2 in the NFL, but in the NCAA hoops, 4-0. Go figure, huh? <coughs> Excuse me. Paint Insider finally has a good day, starting to crank it back a little bit. 2-1, and one, plus 90 dimes. Primetime Sports Advisors, 1-3. They're going to give back 147.5 units. Rock Hard Picks has a rough day of it. 0-3 minus 135 dimes. Sharp Edge Plays continues to have a nice week. Plus 2000 bucks on the day. 4-1. Sports Investing is a business. Counts last night's Lakers game. 1-2. They're going to give back 120. Mailman Delivers Winners. 1-1 one one, minus 50 dimes. Party King. 1-3 minus 800 bucks. Top Shelf Chicago. 0-1 oh minus 22 dimes. And Ty Davis Sports Investor. Counting the Lakers play. Four and one plus 290 dimes. <coughs> so, <coughs> good job to them. I'm starting to think I'm coming down with something. Anyway, nonetheless, I wanted to address those things. Please keep the emails coming. Remember, this week ends Sunday night. We are going back through the Monday through Sunday schedule. And um, so it's a short week. There are several cappers whose packages are up. I have not heard from any of them. Sunday could be there last night on the site. We shall see how that all goes. That may cut down a little bit. And um, as I said, we've invested, or I've invested, in um, Final Cut Pro. And actually, if I take this down and put green construction paper behind me, I can then karma key it and put whatever I want behind me. I may look at that. Where are the weak possibilities? <coughs> oh, man, I'm going to get sick. I know it. Ty Davis Sports Investor is 17 and 8 on the week. There are 680 winning percentage with 826 times. The Bookie Basher, 636 winning percentage plus 87 dimes. Betting as a business is 555 winning percentage. They are up 188 units. So they're definitely involved. Sharp Edge Plays is having a very nice week. 18 and 13, 580 winning percentage plus 4,735 bucks. So it should be interesting. One day left for the winner of the week as we start the new week. Some cappers will probably change. And as subscriptions are up, we will see what happens. And uh, just remember one thing. As far as hits and concerns and everything else, I didn't go solicit anybody. Everyone found me. We are the number one sports monitor on the internet, hoping to get over the 18 hump. Good luck tomorrow. Considering all the home teams won, I don't know what that's going to say for my Eagles tomorrow, but we shall see. Hey, good luck. We're going to get back to the hot or not stuff starting next Monday. And if people don't like it too bad, the fade word will come back. We're going to tell you who's hot and who's not, and that's going to be getting back to the original premise of the site. Partyhelp.com. Users, info, partyhelp.com. Email me. Even though there's lots of them, I don't mind reading them. I try and respond to everyone, even if I send you back a little smiley face. At least you know I got it. And I'm probably going to hire someone. I had someone email me. I need to talk to him. I'm going to get his number. And uh, maybe two days a week, I will have him put the chart up for me. There won't be a video. And that should, because uh, the users seem to want to see the videos by 6 a.m. Good luck tomorrow.